Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 29th of May 2016 and we're providing our gold and silver update for the week ending the 27th of May. Gold fell in US dollar terms last week by $40 from $1,252 to $1,212 an ounce having reached a high of 1255 and a low of 1207 In sterling terms, gold fell by £34, and in euros, it fell by €24.7. Silver fell by 30 cents, from $16.53 to $16.23, having reached a high of 1657 and a low of 1613 in sterling terms, it fell 30 pence, and in euros, it fell by 0 0.40 euros. The gold to silver ratio fell from 75.7 to 1 to 74.7 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 17,873, up 45 points on the day, and up some 373 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 4,933, up 31 for the day, and up 164 points on the week. Brent crude was up 60 cents at $49.32, and US light crude was up 92 cents at $49.33. The dollar index stands at 95.52, that's up 0 0.19 on the week its fourth consecutive weekly rise. Although gold has fallen during the week as the Federal Reserve put rate increases back on the table, as market participants believe the possibility of such a rise is now around 30%, there appears to be support surrounding the $1,200 level. Technical analysts state that should gold fall below $1,200, then they are likely to sell thereby weakening its price further. However, Fed Chairman Janet Yellen said late Friday in remarks at a Boston speaking engagement, quote, probably in the next couple of months another increase is appropriate, unquote. thereby indicating, as we have said, that a June increase is unlikely. The Brexit vote coming one week after the June FOMC meeting probably tips the likelihood of a rate hike to the July meeting, said National Australia Bank on Friday morning. Silver markets fell during the course of the week. However, there does appear to be significant support above the $16 level. Had Janet Yellen on Friday been a little more hawkish, we were confident that silver would have fallen into $15 territory, However, we suspect it will remain in the 1610 to 1680 trading range this week, though it is still our opinion there is somewhat more downward pressure than upward pressure for the next few months. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views 